News 8. Well, welcome back. CPA Matt Bryant joining us now to talk about year-end financial planning. Thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Nice to be here. An important topic. A lot of people caught off guard last year when their tax return wasn't what they thought it would be. What happened? There was a change in the tax law in 2018, which resulted in loan withholdings. So a good strategy is to estimate your taxes for 2019, starting with your current paycheck, multiplied by the number of pay stubs left, plus your year-end totals will get you an estimate of your taxable, your, your taxable income. All right, so if you do that estimate and you find out, ooh, I may not, I may have to, I may owe, what can you do? Correct, yeah, so if you take a look at your deductions and credits, what's the taxable income and figure you may owe, you can use Form W-4 to increase your withholdings so you have a bigger refund come tax time. Anything else you can look at when you're looking at the big picture that could perhaps get you a bigger refund? For a bigger refund, you may be able to um, make some charitable contributions. You may be able to increase the amount you have going to your retirement fund, which is a pre-tax contribution. All right, let's talk about that FSA money. How, where do you spend it? Yeah, so if you have FSA money, it's typically use or lose it. So if you don't use it by the end of the year or Mar March 15th, it'll go away. So you can look to get a new pair of eyeglasses, schedule a desk appointment, or use some other transaction that will be a qualified medical expense. And you want to talk a little bit about credit card debt? Correct, yes. So if you have some credit card debt, a good thing to do is you get ready for your end is to pay it down. If you don't, a good thing to do is put a budget aside for holidays. If you spend a lot of money on the holidays, let's start putting away a little bit of money now so you don't have a big credit card bill to start the year. Holidays will be here before we know it. Anything else folks need to know? Yes, a trusted server of public account could be a great resource if you work in your personal financial plan. All right, appreciate you coming on. Thank, Thank you, you so much. If you missed any of this interview or our past interviews, head to rochesterfirst.com for more information.